In today's tech video, we are going to unbox and take a good look at this TV right here. This is the LG C1 OLED TV, and this is the 55 inch. We're gonna unbox it and give you guys a good look at it. That's today's tech video. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So in today's tech video, this is the first LG OLED that I have owned. So I'm really excited about unboxing this TV here. Uh, this is the 2021 model, the brand new, uh, just got released, I think last week. And um, so I, I have it here in my room, but um, I'm really excited about this TV. I've, I've owned Samsung QLEDs in the past. Um, I actually still own a QLED. Uh, but this is the first OLED display that I will own and I'm excited about getting into it because when it comes to OLED displays LG is usually the one that rules the roost on that. I know Sony makes a good one uh, Vizio has uh, their own OLED, but LG is usually the top selling OLED TV out on the market uh, So I'm really excited to take a good look at this and see how well it does uh, but this one here, before we dive into the unboxing, it does have the Hey Google. It's got the Amazon Alexa on there. Um, it works with your Apple AirPlay in case you want to mirror your iPhone. Uh, it works with Apple HomeKit. It's got the NVIDIA G-Sync, and then it's got the FreeSync Premium on there. Um, it's got all your major apps that are, I think they're pre-built in. I don't know. I guess we'll find out once we start unboxing it and getting it set up. But on the box here, it shows that it's got Netflix, Disney+. Plus. Prime Video, Sling, Hulu, Apple TV, Vudu, uh, YouTube, and its own LG store. Uh, this one here is the C1 edition. It's the predecessor to the CX that was very, very popular last year and one of the top selling TVs when it came to the OLED display. So uh, did LG outperform last year's model? I guess we'll find out. But let's go ahead and rip open these bands uh, and unbox this and get it out of the box. Okay, I got the box off of it. Um, one thing I would suggest is when you do go to unbox this thing, make sure you get another set of hands to help uh, get that box off, off of there. I had to manhandle it by myself because I'm a one man crew here, uh, but it was a little bit difficult. But upon uh, unboxing it, this is the lip that goes underneath the TV. It says dark steel silver on this. Now, the thing that I really liked about the LG TVs is if you don't have enough money to get a sound bar, I don't, sometimes you don't need it when it comes to these LG models, especially this one here. The way that they make this, uh, that is a nice looking silver, but the way that they make this is that it goes underneath the TV like that and the sound is projected from underneath the TV and this kind of positions the, the volume of the TV and you know the voice and everything that's going on TV out to you uh, versus just going to the wall and trying to bounce off the walls. So from what I've heard at the stores, these things get pretty loud, these particular models. But um, yeah, this is what the, the base looks like here. It does have the LG branding on the uh, end there. Okay, I uh, got it laid down here on my dresser. Um, but one thing, I, this has a little bit of weight to it. I thought that it would be a little bit lighter, especially because of how thin the display is. Uh, if you can see right here, um, it's really thin, um, but it does still have a little bit of weight. So you're gonna need two people whenever you're manhandling this thing, if you're mounting it to a wall or just kind of positioning it to it. But let me show you uh, what the backside looks like and what it has to offer. Okay, so this is what the back side of it looks like. Uh, it's just laying face down. Here's another good look at just how thin this TV is from there to there. But this is where all the brains of the TV are. Um, the ports on the back, you get a USB 1 right here, but also there's a USB 2 and 3. So you get three different USB inputs. When it comes to the HDMI ports, that's what a lot of us will utilize. Right here is HDMI 1. There is your eARC HDMI, so if you are a gamer, that's where you're going to want to plug into right there. Uh, it's got an, a third HDMI hook up there, and then right there is a fourth HDMI. Um, also, it's got a spot for you to hook up your antenna if you're still doing that. Right there's your LAN port to hook up your Ethernet cable. 
a digital optical out and then right here or uh, an audio to hook up like some, it looks like it shows a picture of headphones here's a SVC only so I don't know that I'll utilize those but that's what the back looks like there over here on this side is the power table power cable that is attached right there is uh, the back portion plate where you mount the black back portion you get your magic remote here that's really popular when it comes to the LG models because it's got the pointer and a scroll wheel uh, you get your screws to mount the plate on the name brand of the batteries is called Bexel okay to put the base on what you do is you'll get this thing set right in there like so let me give you a good look at this magic remote here um, the preset buttons that they've already got pre-installed is Netflix Disney Plus right there brings up like your uh, LG menu it's got an Amazon Alexa button LG channels and then prime videos I just set off my Alexa device talking about it also um, it's got your home button uh, mute button microphone so you can talk into it um, this is the profile of the remote I mean it's contoured so that way you can put your so it holds really nice in your hand your fingers underneath like that but okay once you have the back base on uh, in order to keep it stabilized you got to put on the metal plate now the way to do this is you got the front of it right here you just kind of angle it and then position it just like that now there are three screw holes here to keep a watch on so you're going to want to align the plate so that those three holes match up there then screw your screws right in here to stabilize that plate okay I will be honest with you guys LG did not make that easy to put those screws in there so LG if you watch this you might want to improve uh, the engineering on this and make those screws a little bit easier to get into there you just constantly screw 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 and it's hard to find the hole on there they don't match up very well so be prepared to get a little frustrated uh, position it ice and black I wonder how long it's gonna stay that way <laughs> before my kids or myself end up touching the screen but let's go ahead plug it in turn it on and get it set up okay so we want you to press the circle or the press the button right here on this remote All right, so we're all paired up with the remote. It gives you an option to either um, do the installation method with the mobile device or a TV. I'm just gonna do it right here on the TV. All right, so then you'll come to the terms and conditions screen, just click next. I went ahead and select all, I mean, who actually reads all those terms and conditions and then click more. All right, so here's where you would um, connect any of the things that you have connected to your TV normally, like a DVD player, maybe a Roku device or uh, anything that you would hook up with HDMI you would then get it connected to your TV and then click next okay so the only thing I hooked up was a Roku device as soon as I did it it automatically recognized that it was an HDMI one and it named it Roku uh, so if you are hooking up like a PlayStation or Xbox you would then hook that up now and it looks like my magic wand just got recognized on here uh, the magic mouse or whatever they call this so that way you can scroll around and do it that way all right so if you do have a tv antenna you can get it hooked up right here and when you hook it up through your coax cable i do not have it so i'm just going to go ahead and click next all right so if you don't have a tv or if you don't have any kind of cable or antenna hookup you just go i don't have tv service and then you click next there you enter in your zip code why i don't know why but they ask for it all right, so also if you don't want to use the the wand or the mouse on there, which to be honest, I don't know that I'm a big fan of it. You can actually just go ahead and click down and use the regular remote while you're pushing in the buttons. I prefer that. You may prefer the mouse. Uh, it's all based on preference. Okay, here it asks you for the TV type, whether you would put it on a stand or if you have it wall mounted. I put mine on a stand. Okay, so you can see the sound difference there when you let the artificial intelligence take control there on the sound in the picture. It boosted the sound whenever I let it do the sound. 
I didn't really tell a difference on the picture quite yet. Okay, so if you have an LG account, this is where you would then sign in here. If you don't, you would then create one. Okay, next up, you'll come to this screen here. If you're wanting to install Prime Video or Sling, I'm not sure why LG only includes these right off the bat. Maybe they have some type of contracts with these two companies, but this is where you would sign into your Prime Video account and get it set up. Or if you have Sling, you would sign in here and then it would do app installation. Okay, since I have Prime Video, install the Prime Video app. I don't have Sling. Went ahead and put it in there and it's giving me the option to launch it or close. I'm gonna go ahead and close so I can move on to the next step. This is what your main menu looks like. Um, it, again, the magic wand automatically comes on, um, but it does have, this is what the new web OS that LG is offering now has. So if you look on the bottom, this is your home dashboard connection guide. This is Apple AirPlay where you would then um, connect your iPhone or your iPad or maybe even a Mac to your TV. Uh, this is a live TV input. This is where I have my Roku device hooked up to HDMI 1. Optical, this is if you hook up a sound bar or something to it. And then here's your user guide. Over here on the app list, this is some of the apps that have come pre-installed comes with Netflix. I installed the Prime Video. It does have Disney Plus, Hulu, Sling, YouTube, Apple TV, and then some of these other like default apps. This is where you would probably go to get it in, in your other apps installed. Here's where you would have like an art gallery, sports alert, and then there's your settings. Up here is a trending now um, that has some suggested content for you to watch. There's The Chosen, which I kind of recommend. That's a pretty good show. Uh, here's Discovery Plus. I was kind of wondering if the LG did have Discovery Plus, but right there it is. And then you just keep on going, and these are the trending nows. Okay, going, scanning down a little bit further. Here is your LG channels that are free. Uh, gives you some suggested. It's got history, ABC News Live, uh, Film Rise, CBS News, Fox News. So it gives you a slew of content to pre-install if that's what you're wanting to watch or uh, I guess it's already installed so you just click there and watch it. There's uh, for some of you shopaholics. Uh, right here is some of the seasons on Amazon Prime since I did connect it through that it's recommending to watch. Here's some of your Apple TV uh, programs. If you do have a subscription to Apple TV, it has that offered there. Here's some of the new releases and it's got the Apple TV logo on there. All right, and that's the bottom bar. So then you just scroll back up to go to the menu. All right, so just first glance at after hooking this thing up, going from a kind of a, a generic TV that was here on this dresser before to this TV, the first thing I did notice was the sound was incredibly loud for this TV compared to the other model that I had. And I think a lot of it does have to do with that bait or that plate right there that projects the sound underneath the TV and then out to you. Uh, so it is loud. Just looking at it here on first glance, it, this is a nice looking TV. This is the OLED display. Um, it's got a deep black to it, which I really like. I'll go ahead and put up the art gallery. First time launching it, you have to hit agree. All right, so if you're into art, you can go to masterpieces. And then right here, they got like Monet, Van Gogh, and then some of your really popular artists. But let's say uh, I kind of liked Monet. Here's a famous one, The Starry Night. Go ahead and click on that. And it gives you some ambient music with the look of a painting with a border on there. But yeah, just looking at it, it looks very cool. I like that it does switch to other paintings like that. So if you did want to have some type of a, let me go ahead and mute that. So in case you wanted to have uh, different paintings that just flash around if you have this set up in your living room and um, you could just have that go on some type of a loop. But yeah, that's very cool. And the picture quality, I know it might be kind of hard to judge right here on a YouTube video, but it is pristine clear. Like it is a nice looking picture. Very impressed. Um, I, get, I guess you get what you pay for whenever you are buying like an OLED versus something that is a, a little bit lower quality. But if you have the money, um, I think I would recommend getting one of these. Okay, so hopefully this video was helpful to you. I hope it was. 
Um, this is the unboxing. I'm going to be releasing another video that will do an actual review of it. Uh, and then I will do another video that will probably be like a three month later video after owning it for a little while. But yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time. And I would love to have you back in the next one. Until then, take care.